Applicants with St. Joseph's Health Centre received approval for rezoning a donated parcel of land, allowing a much-needed long-term care facility holding 128 beds to be built in Chelmsford. It's a, surely a, a huge need for the community. Um, we all know the situation at the hospital with the uh, shortage of bed and the ALC uh, patients that are, um, a number of them are taking beds in, at the hospital. Uh, so this will uh, surely uh, help the situation. I know it was controversial, but I think it was the right move. I think we as a council show leadership. I uh, congratulate Councillor Bertham and Councillor Dutrasak who, who followed this project from the beginning and will be there at the end of the shirt and the ribbon. And uh, for them to, to, to be our leaders on that project, I think, has been very worthwhile. And, and just two points that this project is extremely, extremely, extremely welcome to this, in, the, in this greater Sudbury uh, community because one, it's an economic stimulus. You know, this this construction, construction will allow many tradespeople to work. And the way the times are going, uh, this, this will be a, a positive for the community. There uh, will be 160 jobs uh, created, um, and uh, uh, which is a positive move. Um, also, it will be closer to the uh, residents if they have uh, family um, who, has, who needs the long-term care. Um, it will also be uh, helpful, but also it will be Taking away beds, uh, you know, Olivia freed up some beds in, in the, uh, the other uh, long term care in the Subway area. After finalizing the rezoning process, a community fundraising campaign will be announced within weeks. If successful, construction could begin this summer and last for 14 months.